in the holy, holy communion. Examine yourself. Take just a moment before you're served. Take just a moment. The Bible says examine yourself. 1 Corinthians 11. Examine your life. Communion's a very serious thing. Many of the Bible said are asleep and some sickly because they took on communion unworthily. Now what does that mean, Pastor? Very simply. It means if you've got no sin in your life, you're walking in sin or in error, and you know it, don't take communion until you confess your sins and ask God to wash you in His blood. But if you know you're in Christ and you love the Lord, you're doing your best to walk holy before Him. Run to the communion table to suck with our Lord. Come, guys, serve the church. Hallelujah. And when you get your communion sacraments, would you wait until we give you further instruction? Now, Father. We ask you in the name of Jesus today to bless what we do. Sanctify our hearts. Sanctify our minds, spirits, and bodies as we prepare to commune with our Lord. We give you praise and glory because we can commune with the risen Lord. And the church said, Amen. Would you get those thoughts? and serve the body. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Spirit.
The apostle said, For I received from the Lord himself that which I passed on to you. It was given to me personally, he said. That the Lord Jesus on the night when he was treacherously delivered up, while his betrayal was in progress, he took bread. And when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, you get your wafer in your hand. Ask the Holy Spirit right now to speak to your heart. You realize the bread is for healing. It represents the broken body of our Lord. The body of Christ that endured so much for your healing. For you. And I believe that as you receive if you let faith rise in your heart right now, if you just receive by faith, healing can take place in your life. Claim that healing right now in the name of Jesus. Right now. He said, take and eat. This is my body, which is broken for you. This do in remembrance of me. Receive right now. In Jesus' name. And claim healing. Claim healing. Claim healing right now. Whatever your needs are, claim it right now. In the name of Jesus. Would you lift your hand with at least one of them and say, Thank you, Lord, for my healing. Thank you for your body that was beaten and battered and bruised for me. Thank you, Lord. And then... The scripture says, after the same manner, he also took the cup when he had supped, saying, This cup is the New Testament in my blood. This do ye as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. For as often as you eat the bread and drink this cup, you show the Lord's death till he comes again. Now receive that precious blood. Uh, it's not blood, but it's a representative of His blood. Receive it now. And thank you for it. Thank you for the shed blood of Calvary's cross. Let's sing over the blood again. Come on. Oh, come on. Stand with me. Of Jesus. Oh, and cleansing. There's healing in the blood. There's healing in the blood of Jesus. <laughs> oh, there's healing in the blood of Jesus. There's healing in the blood of Jesus. And it washes white. There's salvation in the blood. There's Salvation in the blood of Jesus. There's salvation in the blood of Jesus. There's salvation in the blood of Jesus. And it washes white as snow. Hallelujah. Can you say hallelujah? No, again, there'll be no service here tonight, but we want to close with these thoughts. Again, the early Christians greeted each other. You see, the resurrection was their hope. When they greeted one another, one would say, He's risen. The other would say, He's risen indeed. So would you look at somebody now and say, He's risen. Now, Tell him again, he's risen indeed. Now may the Lord bless and keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine upon thee and be gracious unto thee. And may the Lord lift up his countenance upon thee and give thee his peace. Amen.
to speak to someone this one that I would like to speak to you in the best of you. God bless you and happy Resurrection Day.